Oh, I thought it was awesome when I first heard that you know Heroes was coming back. Uh, when I saw, was watching the NBC Winter Olympics, I believe. All of a sudden, this commercial came out, and the first thing I knew is like we were like, "Whoa, what? What is that?" And then literally everybody started texting each other. So the entire cast all got together and like we started a group chat. Like, "Hey, you guys heard about this?" Blah, 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 blah. And we were all texting each other. And like probably like 10 minutes after that, I got an email from Tim and said, "Hey, <laughs> you want to talk?" And that's how it kind of started. Hero is involved in Heroes Are Born by being a key player to the mystery. Uh, he's trapped inside the, a game called Evernow in the Internal Fortress, and I believe Ren and, and uh, Miko uh, rescue uh, Hero Nakamura, or freeze him from uh, the Eternal Fortress. And we find out that Hero's powers, once again, the almighty you know, teleportation and time traveling powers, are the key to saving the world. It's kind of fun, you know, revisiting Hero. Uh, and, and actually, in Heroes Are Born, I get to do three heroes, which is interesting, you know. So I get the classic hero, which is kind of this, and then I have the, the future non-apocalyptic hero, so a little bit hardened, but you see him in a ponytail. And then you have see him in a really old hero as well. So I get to play three heroes. So everything in this uh, Heroes Are Born is kind of like upgraded. Instead of one sword, I'm using two. You know, so if there was a Heroes Resurrected Reborn or something, I'm actually going to have three swords and I'll probably play four heroes as well. So it's kind of a little bit of a passing of the torch in many ways, but it was, you know, Hero is integral to the story because his power, even in the old series, was so strong. You know, it was like a godlike power in many ways. So, you know, they needed, they needed that, whether it's to be used for good or evil. What made Heroes special was, you know, at that time, it was a very unique show. You know, it uh, created a global sense. It was the leader in many ways, revolutionizing a lot of the, more of the transmedia stuff, more of the superheroes. I mean, it was right there in the zeitgeist. It created a lot of it, you know. We were fortunate to have, actually have Lost beforehand because Lost created an ensemble show, uh, you know, with diverse cast, which kind of like, you know, paved the way for us. Say, hey, maybe we can have a diverse cast. And you know, it was just so unique with have people having multiple storylines, that sense of mystery, and it was a superhero show about characters. So I think that's what really grounded it. And you know, our first season, by bar none, I think is one of the best seasons on, uh, on any television. You know, that I'm still very proud of the work we did and of what the cast did and the crew and the writers did for that.